Hey guys, Paulie Howard. I'm with Fox Sports Radio for the card Friday, September 16th. Before I tell you what I'm betting, time to rant run. Didn't see that coming last night. A shootout in Buffalo. Jets win 37-31. Fitzpatrick was like Joe Namath out there. This tweet, courtesy of Pro Football Focus, Fitz was 15-19 for 300 yards and one touchdown on passes thrown 10 yards or longer downfield. And oh man, Rex Ryan would love to have that timeout back if they tried to draw the Jets offside. That Mickey Mouse stuff at the line of scrimmage, they could have gone, uh, didn't have to go onside then if they had all the timeouts. And what the hell is Bowles, what is Bowles doing? Kicking the extra point up 12 with four minutes left. And it takes Nance and Sims 10 minutes to point it out and say something. Jesus, third grade math again. We're doing this every week in college or the NFL. And we, I gave this out on the air. Uh, a little help from Cousin Sal, who liked it as well. Rex Ryan, first coach to be fired, 18-1. to 1. He can pack those bags. It's going to be a disaster in Buffalo so far. And uh, Fitzy played well. Big win for the Jets because they could be underdogs in their next four games. And a huge win by Houston. Down 16-12 to 12 with 11 minutes left on the road at Cincinnati. They score four touchdowns in the final 11 minutes. Two pick sixes to put it out of reach. Misleading score, but they win 40-16. to 16. They can put it on cruise control till November 17th. They're going to be huge, big, big favorites until that Louisville game. And now they sit back. They try. They just have to take care of business. But they're Oklahoma fans and Louisville fans as well. They play Louisville November 17th, and they need Oklahoma to keep winning and knock off Ohio State on Saturday. Maybe they can shock the world and get in there, although Ken Thompson is on point. Definitely something wrong with Greg Ward's shoulder. He is injured. A couple bad decisions, but gutsy performance. And, you know, Houston dropped the pick six. You had that crazy play before halftime where they were, they ran the ball on a reverse, the crazy fumble up in the air. Whoop, Cincinnati returns it. That led to a field goal, and Ward made the touchdown-saving tackle on that play as well. All right, time to tell you what I'm betting. Three big feature pro picks over my shoulder and up at pregame. Good fella with his Pac-12 game of the year. Huge game. He's ready to fire on this one. Get that pick over my shoulder, a pick you got to have. Spartan with his SEC game of the year. And Fezzik is ready to go Sunday with a three-star total that he loves in the NFL. Uh, never had a chance yesterday. The loser with the Bills, Jets under. Nothing today. We'll have something Saturday. Uh, college football looking for two pros to wind up on the game, but for different reasons, handicapping the cappers. As always, betting half a unit on the free play. Greg Shaker likes Michigan, Colorado over the total. Read his full write-up and analysis and get all the free picks up at pregame.com. And how about the Cubs? They become the first team to clinch. Their first division title since 2008. Their first playoff game will be October 7th. How about that long layoff? That's the next time they play an important game. We'll see you Saturday on pregame.com.